of collecting tank after that switch off switch on the motor and allow water to rise up to the sill level of the sill level of the weir which is fitted in the channel once water rises up to the sill level then stop the discharge and measure the initial reading of water and note down it as h1 allow some other water to flow over the over the weir and note down the depth of water as h2 collect the same water in the collecting tank for known volume and note down the time taken for known volume known volume of water collection repeat the step for different discharges and calculate the cv with the help of formulas so we'll start the experiment now i will switch on the motor and allow water to rise up to the sill level So now there is no discharge. Let's adjust the pointer gauge such that it touches the free liquid surface, and the reading is eleven. I'll have some other water to flow through. Water has reached the study stage. Now we'll adjust the pointer gauge to the free liquid surface. Let's note down the final reading. It is thirteen point. One centimeter. Next step is to collect the water in the collecting tank and measure. So we'll collect the water from 19 centimeter to 29 cm and time taken is repeat the procedure for different discharges and calculate the value of cv for the rupees here we'll see the calculation now observed that length of the weir is 15 cm area of collecting tank is 40 by 20 with an overflow pipe of 6.3 cm therefore area of the overflow tank is point, area of the collecting tank is 0.0768 meter square h1 was observed as 11 cm h2 was 13.2 therefore depth of flow over the weir is 2.2 cm nothing but 0.022 meter therefore theoretical discharge is 2 by 3 l root 2 g h raised to 3 by 2 for ogis weir 
substituting the value of h as well as l in this equation we got the theoretical discharge as 1.44 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second then actual discharge is nothing but volume of water collected in the collecting tank upon time taken where volume can be divided as area of collecting tank by multiplied by the depth of water collected it is 0 0.0768 meter square depth of water collected is 0 0.10 meter or 10 centimeter time taken for that was 9 seconds for another reading substituting these values in the q actual formula we got q actual as 8.53 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube per second then cd is equal to the ratio of actual discharge to the theoretical discharge and we obtained cd as 0 0.63